You know when you go on a week-long trip, there's not much to do. But I gotta tell you, if you go on a trip where you're gonna be going for two months, maybe three months, and you're gonna go to three different seasons, well, it's hard. A lot of things you don't think about. Like for example, today we took the van in and we got the TPMS repaired. We changed the oil because, well, eventually while we're on this trip, we'd have to do that anyway. So we went ahead and did that. Well, up early again today, head back to the Ford dealership and see if we can get the tire pressure monitoring system to uh, be fixed finally. Well, that took a little longer than I thought it was going to. I was here at eight o'clock this morning an hour ahead of my appointment and we had an oil change we had all the filters changed the uh, inside cabin filter changed and most importantly supposedly the uh, tpms sensor is now working again let's see if it if it actually is it is <laughs> that's repaired all right i'm going to stop and fill up the propane tanks now before we hit the road because well it's always great to start with both of those tanks full And we're doing little things to it, like before we leave today, I check to make sure that the hot water is working. We've checked all the air pressure in the tires. We've made sure the spare tire is okay, and you know, there's just too many things to mention. And we've done this. Back behind there, that's the bomber. That's the thing, it controls the uh, charging, and I've made this beginning of a heat shield now the problem with that is i had to order the materials for the heat shield on amazon one of the guys hasn't even shipped yet so i ordered a second one that had one day shipping it should be here tomorrow what i do is i wrap that little piece of sheet metal with that heat reflectant and it keeps the heat away from the bomber unit there and hopefully that'll help um, everybody said that it will and it's really cool but you know you don't count on doing that You'd think that it would be, I don't know, three or four days to get ready for a trip like this. But to tell you the truth, I bet we have a constant three weeks, maybe even four weeks, counting all the planning and everything else that we've done. It's just such a beautiful and long trip, though, that, you know, Alaska's once in a lifetime. Going to Newfoundland, probably for us, it may be once in a lifetime, too. Who knows? If you remember, we had some wallpaper up here before that neither one of us really likes. She's replaced that. We've minimized what we have in the cabinets. And she kind of painted over here to make that look muted as well. We've installed Waggle. She's put baskets up everywhere, like here. There's going to be another one in her bedroom area, but she hasn't put that up. And then we hang another one right here, and there's another one that will get hung right here. See, there's just... Things you learn when you travel. Our last trip was, well, the last big trip was three months. And you learn when you go on a three-month trip like that, that, well, what you need to take and what you don't need to take. And let me tell you about the difference this time. So this time, the big difference is this. It's 95 degrees here in the mountains of North Carolina, and we've had days that have almost topped out in 100. So if we went anywhere within two or three hours from here, we would pack what I have on right now. Shorts, short sleeve shirts, t-shirts, swim trunks, flip-flops. But here's the problem. Part of the places we're going on this trip, the maritime coast of Canada, well, they're going to be similar to this, not quite as warm. But the high last night at the tip of Newfoundland only made it up to 58 yesterday. So we're going to be lows by the time we get there. Low temperatures probably in the 40s. So we're going to have to pack for three seasons. You'd be tempted to pack two or three weeks worth of clothes for every season, but in this van, even though it's bigger than anything we've ever had that's considered 
close to being a van. You can't do that. You're going to have too many clothes to take with you. So what I'll do anyway is I'll take maybe 10 days worth of summer stuff, 10 days worth of fall, and maybe four to five days worth of winter. And I can layer up if I need to. And then when those get dirty, we'll find a laundromat somewhere and we'll wash the clothes. Otherwise, every nook and cranny in the van would just be stuffed with extra clothes if you try to pack for such a long trip the way you would if you were going say to san francisco for 10 days you, you just don't have enough room if you have grandchildren then you realize the struggle i'm sure you're home you love to see them you know the little boogers get sick they get colds and you don't get to see them as much as you want to and you find yourself four days away from leaving for a two or three month trip and you're just missing them already so our oldest granddaughter called today and said you want to go to dinner tonight I can do better than take you to see your granddaughter. No, there's not. I'm <laughs> looking forward to seeing her. I haven't seen her in a while. She's been sick. Are you ready to go? Getting there. I saw you packed a lot of your clothes today or got them out. Got them out. There's, there's a lot of weeding through. Lena has a different process than I do. I take my favorite things. And that's what I take. You guys know what they are because you see them all the time. But she'll go through and lay out different variations of everything she wants to take. Well, what, well, what I want to do is I really want to like be able to wear uh, shirts and pants with different things. Okay. So accessorize. Like, accessorize. So it doesn't always look like you're wearing the exact same thing, but it's like if you have one shirt you want to be able to wear it with you know two or three different pants and vice versa. So Yeah. I don't do that. I know you don't. I, you just I, wear everything with everything. I'll pack Saturday <laughs> night and it'll be this will be what I'll take and whatever I have I'll be okay and I hope it matches. I'm excited about seeing our grandkids here and uh, we're going to go eat a steak. <laughs> as happy as we are. Oh, look at that tail. It's in my house every single day. <laughs> oh, no, I know. It looks big on you, though. <laughs> Is that Kiri? That's the same jacket. Well, three more days until we need to leave. Maggie doesn't have a passport, but what she does need, all of her shots and all of her records. So she doesn't like it, but we're on the way over to take her to the vet. And as usual, I'm running late because I had a bunch of things to box up that we were returning today, but I think I'll make it. Here's a little Magdalene back there. Say hello, Maggie. Ready to go to the vet? And then over here, Here's everything I'm taking back today. Shipping and taking things back to Kohl's. A lot of Amazon things and uh, things we don't really need. Now's the time to do it. We're gonna make it. I think we're one minute late, buddy. That's all right. It's two o'clock somewhere, isn't it? Mag's been coming here to this vet uh, since the day that we found her, or she found us. I don't think she she likes Dr. Royal and she likes everyone here, but uh, she knows it's it's not something she loves to do for sure. She's in the floor. She's got a tail down. We never did get that exit only tattoo back there, did we, buddy? She has a clean bill of health, and we'll get her records, and off we'll go. Well, two more days left, and today is the day that we're going to rearrange the garage. We've really wrestled with this. 
We don't know if we should take our bikes, if we should take the Orus, but I think the conclusion we've come to is we have enough room in here. We have the toys. There may be a chance that we want to take our bikes on some of the islands. There may be some water we want to explore. And I think the chances are that we'll regret not bringing them. So we're going to rearrange things in here and make it just as efficient as we can. And hopefully we'll be able to take more than we've taken in the past, but still be able to get to it. That's the goal. So you guys know we're going to Newfoundland, but Lynn has done a lot of work to decide all the great places in the four provinces we're going to visit. How do you plan a trip like that though? We've decided that we're going to make a beeline for the Canadian border and skip all the great places in the U.S. and concentrate on these 8 to 12 weeks being just in Canada. So our first two stops are going to be Cracker Barrels and then we're going to stay at a state park right on the border. How do you plan that? The trick I figured out was to break out an app I used to use a lot, RV Trip Wizard. And with that thing, it draws these concentric circles for four hours and six hours and eight hours. And, and I just had it route us all the way to our first stop, which is New Brunswick. And somewhere along those lines, I looked for a Cracker Barrel. And that's what I have on the map. And that's what we're going to do day after tomorrow. Up early, drive all day long like a truck driver get to a Cracker Barrel, up early, drive all day long like a truck driver, get to a Cracker Barrel, spend the night, up early, drive all day like a truck driver again, and then rest for a few days, cross over in the border, and start this trip. Well, one more day left, and it's a really busy day. Lots to do in the van, freshening the water, getting everything packed away, getting everything just stowed just right, making sure the garage is just the way we want it. And then also, there are a lot of things to do here with our home. You can't just walk out the door. There's a lot to do before you leave your home for two to three months. You may want to make sure that you have a security system. You may want to make sure you have cameras so you can check on things. And you may want to have something so you can check the temperature. And if you're going to leave for two to three months, you may want to make sure you get someone to house sit. They'll be glad you did, and you will too. I don't know if you know it or not, but over the last two months, we've really wrestled with whether we want to go on this trip at all. It's going to be a long trip, and to be quite honest, we love being home. We woke up this morning, and it was like Mother Nature was saying, Ha ha, this is what you're leaving. It was absolutely beautiful. The lake was all covered with fog. The herons were up playing and it was just a magical time. Ooh. Mm -hmm.
And that's happened several times as we've been discussing this. And in fact, one time when we were talking about it and almost decided to not go on this trip, Lynn said the magical words, if we never go, we'll never know. And with that, that became the slogan for this trip and it also became our latest sticker. If you never go, you'll never know. So when we wake up tomorrow morning, whether we want to or not, whether we have mixed feelings about it or not, we are going to go. But before tomorrow morning, today is going to seem like a week of chores for both of us. So one of the last things that we want to do before we leave is one more cleaning. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to vacuum everything down, take the rugs out and shake them out real good. Wipe down the floors with a, just a wet rag because we have tracked in a lot of dirt packing everything. Hearts being darker than a devil's soul I ain't someone you bring to mama's house Do you believe, do you believe When I say time is One of the things that I like to do before we start on a long trip is to make a few snacks for us that we can eat along the way that are somewhat healthy. And one of my favorite things are these little energy bites. So today I'm going to make a batch of them. But also as I was making them, I put all the dry ingredients in a bag so it'll be simpler to make them on the road. Today is going to be a really busy day for us and one of the biggest tasks, packing up all of our clothes. And we all have our own way of doing that, don't we? I'm pretty simple. I just grab what I normally wear. But Lynn is more thorough about what she chooses to take on a trip like this. She'll lay out everything she thinks she's going to take and then she tries on different outfits. And sometimes that takes a long time and maybe it's the same for your wife. If that's the case, you may want to download the program that you can add to your Apple remote. I did that from the Acme company and I put it on this remote and if you click it, it's supposed to speed that entire process up. Let's see if it works. So what's the use of having 50 gallons of fresh water if you can't drink it? At least that's what we think. So we told you last week we purchased the Berkey and today I'm freshening the water in the water tank because when it sits here in the heat, it gets really stale. So I'm filling it and draining it, filling it, draining it. And then I'm gonna put a little bleach in, run it through all the lines and then fill it and drain it one more time. Fill it up to about a third full and we'll be ready for this trip. We've dreamed of this next adventure for over four years. Ever since returning from our trip to Alaska, we always knew the tip of Newfoundland would be our next big, long, remote adventure. And that adventure starts tomorrow. And we're excited about the adventure, and we're excited to get to share it with you. We hope you'll join us next week. It's going to be a blast. You know, people ask us all the time, why do you travel? For us, it boils down to the experiences we have the memories we make, and the accomplishment of making ourselves get out of our comfort zone and see the world in a different way. And like we've said, if you never go, you'll never know. So just go. 
We'll wake up tomorrow morning and start going. And we can't wait to share that with you next week.